You're listening to Shameless Feminine Speaks with your host, modern day shaman and sister to all, Rebecca Haywood, right here on LA Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shameless Feminine Speaks, the only show on LA Talk Radio for all you shamelessly shameless women, men, ladies, and misfits ready for the feminine re evolution. Yeah, and tonight I am joined by the luscious Tatiana Ray. Welcome, darling. Hello. Yes, we just, we just can't get enough of you. <laughs> we just can't get enough of her. And uh, yeah, so as usual, we are continuing and deepening the conversation from last week. Last week, our title was Virginity, Leave Room for Dessert. Yeah. And that dessert is getting only sweeter tonight, mm. only sweeter. And with tonight's topic title, which is God and orgasms. And it's not even the cherry on the cake yet. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's more to come on this dessert. We're just going to keep dishing it up, I think. Yeah. So tonight is God and orgasms, surrendering the chase. Mm. Mm. God and orgasms, surrendering the chase. Yeah. And so, are you ready to surrender the chase? That chase for God? That chase, ooh, for sometimes that elusive orgasm? Right. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully not after tonight. <laughs> yeah, and you know, we yearn for the communion, right? Whether God or through sex, we yearn for that communion. We ache for it with a hunger that denies its own tongue. Mm. Yeah. Strangers in our own land seeking home. Waves cresting, restlessly reaching, chasing, devoted to the chase even and yet lost to shore. But getting lost is the aim, yes? Getting lost is the aim. To lose oneself, to dissolve our edges and widen our gaze. And yet we chase the finding and the being found. Mm. We rattle the cage, this body, this human, and we seek to take flight. But our wings are here, in this skin, in this temple of life. It is made of feathers, this cage. It is made of feathers. And if only we turn our sights inward, if only we turn our inside out, freedom will find us. <laughs> the divine will come home to nest. Mm. And so what the hell did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Tati and I were joking today about <laughs> how flower we, we, we write. We both had the same uh, editor on our last book, our last collaborative book, Shamanism in the New Millennium. We know we're crazy. And we both got <laughs> in so much trouble for too many flowers. She would say to me, Rebecca, wow, I just read the page you sent me and it's beautiful. I got, but I got to the bottom of the page and I had no idea what you just said. <laughs> too many 50 cent words. <laughs> right, right. And yet there's an experience delivered. There's an experience delivered through our words. Yes. Yeah. The nectar, the aroma of the flowers. If you just drink them in, because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of flowers tonight. Oh, yes. A lot of flowers, a lot of um, uh, messages delivered, experiences delivered through our word tonight. Yeah. It's so important tonight. Yes, yes. Because yes. this is what you've been gearing toward mm. since the moment you could feel, mm. since the moment you knew, you know, skin is our largest organ. Yes, yes. And so little children the first I know with my children the first thing they did is take their diapers off when, mm -hmm. they, when they could figure it out you mm -hmm. know they took the little diapers off and ran around in the nude and that's yes, right it's very that's natural right. yeah our skin is natural yes it's so natural and yet 
we, we, we place these membranes between ourselves and the divine, right? Between our animal and the divine, between our body, you know, between ourselves and another, between sexuality mm. and spirituality. And tonight is all about dissolving those membranes, right? And surrendering the chase, right? The chase denotes yeah. that it's something outside of ourselves. So you right? want to ask yourself, what is this divine? Yeah. What is the divine? Mm. See, mm. What are we chasing? The divine. Yeah. Why do we call this the, the animal and mm. that the divine? Yes. And we're saying, no, no, no. It's, no, no. it's, it's the same organism. Mm-hmm. from a different perspective mm-hmm. from a different perspective that's all mm-hmm. and the divine is mm-hmm. the sensuality yeah. it is the feelings it is the immersion of all your senses mm-hmm. alive within each moment mm-hmm. reading yes. a book it's so simple to read a book no? Sure. you're quiet, you're reading a book mm-hmm. but that can be so sensuous if you're on a rainy day or a sunny corner or cuddled in a big comfy couch to see how everything turns into what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. So then we want to ask ourselves, what is truly the divine? It's beauty. It's the moment through the eyes of beauty. Mm-hmm. and tying in our puberty Mm -hmm. and the virginity, Mm -hmm. what we really, according to definition, have lost or had taken or have given. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking to the males tonight also. Please remember, we're always Always. speaking to our brothers and our sisters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, what is on this, what's at stake Mm -hmm. is our beauty. Mm And beauty becomes a commodity then. Mm -hmm. It becomes something that we wear rather than something that we are. Yes. Something that we wear rather than something that we are. Mm -hmm. And this isn't just beauty. This is divinity. Yes. Right? How many of us wear our divinity, wear that mask Mm -hmm. of spirituality, you know, playing by the rules that we read in a book. Yes. <laughs> right, playing by the rules. And those rules so often lead us or, 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 or place a carrot mm-hmm. right in front. Keep, just keep going, and then you'll get there, and then you get there. Keep going, keep mm-hmm. going. Uh-huh. You see, all, all, there, are, there are many. We, we want a guarantee. Mm-hmm. We're, we're part of the, when, I, when we say we, we mean us too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not excluding ourselves. No, we want guarantees. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you say that we want to know, we want to mm-hmm. make sure, mm-hmm. we want to be safe, mm-hmm. you see? Yes. And so how do we do that? Well, we make rules mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. rules ensure that we'll know the next steps to come. Right. And what Rebecca wrote was, no, no rules. Mm-mm. The moment, the moment, and what are you feeling? And what we are suggesting is you're not quite available to your feelings, but more than that, I feel, is you're not available to acting on mm. what you're feeling. Yeah, that permission, mm-hmm. that permission, you know, one, to feel. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is you're feeling, to just feel, you know, the weather pattern of your internal planet, Ooh, right? Like yeah, Ooh. just feel and allow those storms to roll through, those mm-hmm. fires to burn mm-hmm. inside of you. And furthermore, further that permission, deepen that permission to express, you know. And we express our feelings, not just through word, through just embodying them, empowering yes. them. Letting them move through us, through our eyes, through our hands, through a touch. The reason they get mm-hmm. out of proportion, I feel, mm-hmm. is because we are <clears throat> segregating them yeah. and we're withholding them. Mm-hmm. There's such a demonstration of no, 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 not enough, too much, don't back up, back up, Yes, you see. Mm-hmm. And instead, I feel if, if we would say and my 
people who know me know that I'll use the term, I'm not very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've yes. heard me say yes, that. I have. I'm not very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that allows me to be with a frustration or an upset, mm -hmm. you see, and, it, and it's not all that bad, mm -hmm. you see. I just growl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I hear her growl, her, or her eyes will growl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll, mm -hmm. She smolders. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you see, so what we're, what we're attempting to share with you tonight is the orgasm in God mm -hmm. is really every moment, not just sexual, not just through the actual physical orgasm, mm -hmm. but in order to achieve that wholeheartedly, mm -hmm. we have to be present. Yes, we have to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had an outstanding orgasm when you weren't really oh. available to it? No, mm -mm. no, no. On the surface, maybe. Can we and have an on orgasm? On the surface, my body can go there yeah. without my presence, but I don't get to go for the ride. And it isn't, to me, it's not really an orgasm. No, it's, it's release. It's not really an orgasm. It's more when like it's only, release. Yeah, when it's only skin deep. Yeah. It really is just simply the mechanics of scratching an itch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking mm -hmm. inside out. Yeah. Unzipping the skin. Yes, unzip the skin. I love Pulling this. Pulling it back, stepping out. Yeah. Well, if you're going to step out, you've got to be fully naked. Mm hmm Yeah. Naked. Yes. Nothing holding you back. Mm hmm No remorse, no shame, mm -hmm. no hesitancy. Mm hmm I like a little, I like being a little timid. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with quiet there's nothing wrong with soft none of those are withholding yes. your pleasure mm -mm. there's simply another expression yes of pleasure of your feelings you know mm -hmm. this isn't about let's you know be wild and loud and you know this isn't about that this is about being authentic to your within okay to, to, to your feathers and how they want to take flight. Yes. You know. What are you feeling? Yes, feeling. Yes. Yes. How do, how do you approach life? Mm -hmm. And although we're always going to be talking and bringing it back to our sexuality, our sensuality, mm -hmm. In this tonight show, yes. we're saying, mm -hmm. how do you relate to life? Mm -hmm. How much of you is relating? Yes. How much of you is relating? Mm -hmm. As you can tell, Rebecca's very comfortable with life. Mm -hmm. I am too. Mm -hmm. I like life. Mm -hmm. Not everybody in life likes us. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. But we mm -hmm. like life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that so? Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so when we're participating, we are fully participating. We're not anticipating um, winning friends or, or having people suddenly care for what we're saying and sharing. Mm -mm. But we're happy mm -mm. and yeah. we're present. Yeah. You know, I, I, I channel is one of the things. We, we both do. We both do. And I, I mean, we all do. We all do, really. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as I was training and learning this, uh, there was this, you know, concept that I had that there was this other being mm -hmm. that, yeah. that, that was going to deliver these words or that I would feel this other presence. And then that's when the message would come and they wouldn't be my own words, really, right? And I remember, you know, I was training with my grandmother, Madre Sarita, and we were, we were doing the meditation again and, 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 and she said, oh, okay, you're ready. Like, the, you have a message. Your spiritual guide is here ready to mm -hmm. deliver a message. And I'm sitting there, and I'm going, mm -mm -mm. no, no, there's it's just <laughs> me here. You I, know? I can't <laughs> hear anything. Yeah, I'm like, there's just me here. I think, I think you're wrong. But, you know, Sarita, she was very insistent. You know, her, she's, you know, well, actually, she didn't slap my knee because I was in trance. But she said, open your mouth and speak. 
And I did. I, I just, okay, mm. you know, you don't die, deny grandma when she says, she says, do something, you do it. And, uh, and I did. I opened my mouth and spoke. And it was so beautiful. I mean, of course, there was that little kind of turbulence at the beginning of the flight where my mind was, was going, oh, it's I like don't know. like getting a running start. Yeah, I don't know. But since I wasn't feeling this presence, this other presence, you know, I just simply started to speak what I was feeling. Mm. And I started to describe what I was seeing in my vision, right, in my meditative vision. I simply started to put words to my internal experience. And that's when I took flight. Mm -hmm. That's when the inside turned out and the message moved through me yes. in such a beautiful way. And that's really truly how we channel. Yeah. That's how that writing came through this morning and in, in creating the post for the show. This is how it comes through. And, and it, it really is, m the more connected you are to this body, to these feelings, to your experience, you know, mm -hmm. that is the way of being authentic with your yeah. word and being in connection with the divine, with the divine, right? Yes. It starts, it begins, and it ends here. We're, we're part of an organism, mm -hmm. an, an enormous organism. Yeah, yeah. And this organism mm -hmm. is us and we are it. It's like, which part is my hand, my finger, or my palm, or my thumb, mm -hmm. you see? Right. Right, and where, where do I begin? And where do eh. I end? It's yes. like it's like a coin with the heads and tails. Mm -hmm. Where does the head end, and where does the tail end? Mm -hmm. You see, because they just go right through. It's continuous. And this is what we're sharing tonight, mm -hmm. regardless of what you've experienced, mm -hmm. regardless of your past, regardless of the hardships you've had. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to deny yourself? for what happened due to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Due those, to others. Those stories of, of, of wounding are just, sto are just stories at this point, right? They yes. really truly are just stories that you can simply lift and make a choice to be here now, right? It's not that those things didn't happen, right? Yes. It's that you are here now, you are here now, and those moments no longer exist, right? They no longer exist. In so many exist. ways. I mean, even physiologically, they've proved that we slough off cells. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I have this ridiculously silly story, but I always thought that, you know, when we're born, we have our little baby skeleton, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah. have my little skeleton, yeah. and I just thought my little skeleton grew with me. <laughs> 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 you know, and that I still had remnants of my baby skeleton. Mm. But that's not true. I mean, the cells sloughed off, mm -hmm. and it got new cells. It yeah. it grew. It was added to. Yes. You and are brand new. Every seven years. Mm -hmm. You are brand new. And even sooner than that, that's just the physiological. That's the physiological, right? absolutely. The newness that you can choose in every moment to be here now, mm. you know, to be here now, to be here now, to be here now. So when you're talking about mm. the chasing, yes, the chasing, tell them what you're, what you and I feel about. <sighs> what are we chasing? Yes, yes. Well, you know, as I was saying, all these, us, the, the game that we play mm -hmm. of placing that carrot outside of ourselves, that there is something waiting for us out there. When really, what we're seeking is right here. You know, yes. we're like Dorothy with the shoes that we had all along to go home, <laughs> yes, right? Yes. And, uh, you know, that, that chase, it, 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 wow, you know, in, in, in kind of an esoteric way, the chase, we surrender the chase by surrendering to the chase, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Again, surrendering to the yearning, surrendering to the ache. So often. Going inside of that. And if mm -hmm. we take this to the sexual by going inside, mm -hmm. yeah. you have to be comfortable with what you're going to find, mm -hmm. which is why we avoid it, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Right, yeah, we're, we're comfortable in the known, mm -hmm. in the familiar. Uh, we think that we have control there, but control is an illusion. Yes. It's an illusion. And you don't want mm -hmm. control. I mean, really, do you, mm -hmm. want, do you want to know every step of the way? Mm -mm. Th then why are you going to read the book if you already know mm -hmm. e e like every step of the book? You yes. don't. You don't want to read that book. Yes, yeah. You see. 
Yeah, that, that sense, that illusion of certainty, yes. that illusion of control. These are all membranes that we place between ourselves and the moment, mm -hmm. right? Um, the rules of spirituality, the rules of, of what is proper. We spoke about the privacy screens last week, um, the showroom windows, mm -hmm. performing, right? That w how often are we actually here, and just inhabiting the skin without um, that awareness of who's watching, right? They say dance as if nobody's watching. Well, dance as if nobody's watching. Live as if nobody's watching. Come as if nobody's watching. Yes. Right? Worship the divine as if nobody's watching. Not even God. Does it matter? Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you're... Why are you even wondering if somebody's watching? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? I had... It's kind uh, of funny. I had really a client and it. I used to say... I used to kid her because mm. she was wondering if people were watching. And I'd say, oh, what's, this is what's really happening. Are they watching? Are they watching? They're not watching. They're watching. Are they wa they're watching. <laughs> they're not watching? They're not, they're not watching? <laughs> right, right. Do you see? Mm -hmm. No. Do you ever wonder who's watching? Um, <clears throat> not really, no. I, I really don't think about it. I, I, forget, <laughs> I, for, I forget that people watch. I forget watch. what I'm wearing. Yeah. I, for, I, I, you know... I embody myself, but mm -hmm. I forget this body. Yes. You know, I lose myself all the time. Would you say it's because you trust your body? Yes, I trust my body. I trust myself. Yes. Inside this body. Absolutely. You know? yeah. yeah. I was in Teotihuacan mm -hmm. in uh, October, mm -hmm. and I fell. <laughs> we were walking at night, and it was dark, and they don't have street lights. Yeah. And, and I fell right off the embankment. Um, I When I fell initially, I hit my knee, mm -hmm. but my little body rolled like a little like a little gymnast and then I jumped up it was like a, a cat <laughs> yeah and like I surprised myself yeah yeah but my body knew what to do my mm -hmm. body knew what to do because mm -hmm. I wasn't afraid and it happened in the dark and I wasn't anticipating it mm -hmm. I hit my knee I rolled and whoop, I jumped up as if yeah. I just landed it <laughs> yeah yeah this, this body does know how to be yes it knows how to be itself it know it already is divine we don't have to tell it yes. how to behave you know it's already attuned uh towards pleasure Ooh, right it's I really made for pleasure it mm. really is we've spoke about this on the sacred central show it's made for pleasure you know and even in um the show that we had betsy chassis on talking about emotional addictions you know your mind even is geared towards seeking to return to pleasure it's seeking yes. pleasure yes right and if we can just let go of the rules of all those membranes that we spoke about last week that we're sharing tonight control certainty who's watching the performing right if we can just let go of those and allow this animal to be the divine creature that it is and wow that's when we turn inside out and what know? is allowing Mm -hmm. Allowing is is uh, getting soft, getting gentle, mm -hmm. getting um, what, what is, uh, flexible. S yeah, flexible. Surrender is surrender. You know, which surrender, you know, we were talking about, you know, it, it's not a giving up. It's not a giving in. It's a giving into. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Everything is about turning our sights inward. Inward. That we may then turn ourselves in inside out. You see, last week Tatiana used that expression, turn, turn yourself inside out, and talking about uh, having that, that kind of sacred orgasm. Yes. You know, and again, we weren't talking about a sexual orgasm. We were talking about the orgasm of just being alive and being in this body, right? Yes. And turning yourself inside out. That this one, you can engage with your body and through your body in this way. You do, you turn yourself inside out. And I, I, I got so excited when she said that because... I actually have used the same yeah. expression, the very same expression, turning the inside out to describe my experience of enlightenment in Teotihuacan. Mm -hmm. I use this as a teaching with my students, you know, with my spiritual apprentices. Turning yourself inside out was the best way that I could, I could describe, to describe it. That, that, that experience of enlightenment where truly I turned myself inside out, where I was experiencing everything mm -hmm. there was the membrane was gone you know and it wasn't gone exactly right we still have this body where our body doesn't just dissolve but it becomes but the mind the mind um, 
perimeters mm -hmm. disappear. Yes, yes. The mind's perimeters. Yes. And so you've all experienced this at one time or another. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have. Sure. Don't shake your head. Mm -mm. <laughs> you have experienced mm -hmm. it. However it was that you experienced it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the turning the inside out um, has come sexually. It's come when I've been with my children, when, when, when they were babies, mm -hmm. little babies mostly. But then as they grew and they were like in the teenage, I remember I went to a concert and my son is a drummer and he was playing on the stage with the high school children and he had a solo. And I remember being able to see him objectively without a mother's mind. Mm. Just he was a human being mm. performing. Mm. And I started to cry because mm. I thought, look how talented that person is. Mm. He no longer had the boundaries of yes. son, yes. child. Yes. He was not even him. Mm -hmm. It was a person. There were no membranes. Mm -hmm. So you see, it's not just sexual that we're speaking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find your times that you have experienced not having any mental barricades. Mm -hmm. yeah. When yeah. you stepped out of your skin, which is the stepping out of the boundaries that I mm -hmm. hear you saying, mm -hmm. and you join the all of all. Mm -hmm. And yes, you're still your perspective, mm -hmm. but you're one with everything within that perspective. Yeah. And to get there, to get to that moment of enlightenment, I didn't have to remove myself. I removed a foreign entity that had been inhabiting Rebecca. Yeah. All those stories that aren't what I am. All those membranes, those barriers, those voices, those lies that I believed so long ago that told me I am not love, I am not divine, and I am not worthy of either. All mm -hmm. the conditions. That I'm not allowed, say? yeah, that I'm not allowed, that, uh, you know, pleasure, right? Mm. Right, we, we spoke about that lineage of withholding pleasure, and yes. I spoke about it in, in regards to my feminine lineage and, and in regards to sexuality, but that lineage of withholding pleasure lives in all of us. It's yes. not just in our feminine ancestry, and it's not just in relationship to sexual pleasure. It's to pleasure itself, right? How often are we waiting for the piano to drop on our head, right? We're knocking on wood, right? We, we, we don't trust the pleasure, trust it. And to me, it. that leads me back to the word beauty. Mm. To me, beauty and, and pleasure are synonymous. Mm -hmm. Beauty and pleasure. To me, when she was saying, you know, watch out, don't give in too much. Uh, have you reached your, your limit, mm -hmm. your quota? Mm -hmm. Don't Let's stay see. too long yeah. in your pleasure. Don't stay too long. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Don't and, indulge. How dare you indulge? That has, <laughs> yes, and that mm. has, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of life. Mm -hmm. And we come in as children so eager to share our beauty, mm -hmm. meaning us yes. and our perception. Yes. We, you know, any of the parents out there know that, and then we as children know when we've the, mommy, 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 mm -hmm. mommy, 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 and we will say it over and over and over until she looks at what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know you've done that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, we, we're, we're scandalous. We're scandalous mm -hmm. and accepting um, praise and attention undivided attention we're scandalous wouldn't you say that as little sure, children sure sure yeah as children absolutely and then it gets programmed out of uh -huh. us yes and we go right into what you were mentioning mm -hmm. about all the compartmentalizations yes of what you're allowed to uh experience mm -hmm. yes yeah all those membranes all those separations that we place not just between us and others, and us, and the divine, and us, and love, but within ourselves, you know, compartmentalizing our feelings, like one is of a higher vibration than another. Mm -hmm. Throw that one out. Throw that one out, because it is through every emotion. It is through, you know, emotion, energy in motion, right? I shared that in one of our emotional shows, you know, 
energy in motion. That's it. Take away the label. Take away the story about it. Take away the right or the wrong of it. And every emotion will lead you back to love. Why? Because wow. every emotion comes from love. Okay? Every, everything is divine. Everything. Every emotion. It's just a, a slight <laughs> distortion of love in that moment. Yes. That's all. Yes. It's just a slight distortion. And if you turn towards it, again, turn your sights inward. You turn towards it with that sweet embrace. Then whew, it's right. It, all that distortion gets cleaned from it. It's right all back it. to its original form or formlessness. Mm, right? Yes. And all of those can lead you. And so that's why it's kind of this esoteric, but not so esoteric. This how do we surrender the chase how do we end the trace the chase but to surrender to the chase you know surrender to that aching surrender to that yearning surrender to it and and, and let it lead you deeper inside of this you. is what everybody mm -hmm. everybody's familiar with this you're all familiar with this mm -hmm. the more there's always more mm -hmm. what's more Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I had sex, but I thought there would be more. Or I oh, had yeah. the ice cream, I thought there would be more. Yeah. Or I had a great birthday party, but I thought there'd be more. Yeah, you, yeah. The more, mm -hmm. the more mm -hmm. is going back into the, yes. that birthday party. Yes. And, and watching everybody have party. fun. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. appreciating that they were so happy to be there. Mm -hmm. Appreciating the thought they put into the gift if they brought you one. Yes. Yes. Their presence there to celebrate you. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. that's the more that you miss. Yes, and the more is, is right here. It's yes. not, stop dangling it in front of you. Stop dangling that orgasm. Like, stop chasing it. It's not out there. God isn't out there. No. And, and really, you know, when you're in that sexual communion, okay, mm -hmm. when you're in that communion, of the sensuality of your body and that permission for pleasure mm. and that that spirit you know to me I, I say that sensuality is a biological experience of the divine <laughs> and yeah. so when you're in that communion with yourself all the way then you know everything is that orgasm everything. you know can you really say when when does that orgasm begin and end does it does no, it no because uh -huh. there's the moment that you see your partner mm -hmm. like you you see your partner and you start to scintillate yeah. and then the partner walks toward you and your heart starts to beat i mean mm -hmm. what part are we going to say even before you see them yes just dressing your body oh. and, and imagining seeing bathing them. yeah bathing seeing yourself yes. you know yes, yes. You, you know, see? all of it is sensual. And all when you're it. in, let's go into the orgasm. Sure. And when you go into the orgasm, uh, do you moan? Mm. Do you cry? Do you whimper? Mm. Do you writhe? Mm. Do you scream? Oh. With abandon? Do you ache? Mm. 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 Do you arch? Mm -hmm. How much of your experience are you experiencing? Mm hmm. How much of your experience are you experiencing? <laughs> I love you. <gasps> yes, take that in. Take that in. Come to your experience. Mm -hmm. Show up for your experience. Mm -hmm. How much more of there is there to unveil and to expose? Yes. Oh, there's that word, expose. Expose. Yes. Expose. Expose. Expose you. Here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just mm. this simple. Just do this for yourself right now. You know, take your hands on your heart mm. and feel all your love. Just feel all that love there. Just feel it. Or whatever you're feeling. Just feel. Are you shy? Come on. Yes. Join us. Come Join on. Join us. Guys, come on. <laughs> come on. Just feel, feel yourself all the way. Your special self, you, you. Yeah. Mm. Now let's expose. Exactly. And just with that breath, just exhale mm. and open. Feel yourself seen by all, by the all seeing, mm. seen by all, by the all seeing. This isn't a giving or even a receiving. 
the surrender, the sweetest kind. Mm. No distinction, no separation, no membranes left, but the feathers that are this body. It isn't a cage. It isn't a cage, this body. No. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. It's the most wonderful, wonderful place to inhabit. Yeah. As we inhabit our experiences. Yes. Just any time that you feel, just in that simple act, I just remember this. It can be so simple that as you practice this motion mm -hmm. and you practice it with that intent and that awareness of opening of turning yourself, your inside out. Exposing me. Mm -hmm. Expose yourself to God. I have nothing God. to hide. Yes. Nothing. As God. To hide. Yes, nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. No more shame. It doesn't exist. Shameless. 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 Shamelessly shameless. Okay. Mm. Open completely to the divine that you are, open completely to the pleasure that this body was made for. Allow yourself, you know, allow yourself, you know, write yourself that permission slip if you need to, write it down and put it on your, on your altar. I oh. give myself permission. I give myself permission to experience myself completely and to expose myself. Mm. Don't be worried about what you're going to expose. Mm -mm. So many people oftentimes will tell me in session that, well, I feel like if I take my clothes off, I'll run down the street naked. And I say, that's mm -hmm. just a metaphor. Mm -hmm. That's just a metaphor. A lot of my clients say that. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how many clients say that. Yeah. But it's a metaphor for being free mm -hmm. to share to expose yourself. Mm -hmm. So tonight, we yeah. make a pact. Yeah. We expose ourselves so you can see mm -hmm. that it can be done. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we hide nothing from you on this show. Nothing. Nothing, nothing from you. Mm -hmm. And you feel the gift in that. You feel what you receive by that honesty, that, that, that authenticity, that lack of shame. We are willing to share what you are willing to listen to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have no shame. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have respect for your boundaries, mm -hmm. and your guarantees that are necessary. We yeah. have respect for that. Mm -hmm. But we have no shame. So, you know, <clears throat> tonight there, there may be, you know, parts of you that are going, uh, I don't know if I get it, right? I don't know if I get it. Just uh, play back this show. I sit in meditation, just receive. There's actually more experience delivered than knowledge delivered here tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so just receive it, just receive it. Just go on the journey of the experience. Taste the energy, devour the energy, take it in, okay, and set th this very simple intention for yourself, you know, to dissolve those membranes, to get more naked in your divinity, in your sensuality, in your sexuality, to be so intimate with yourself, with your experience. That is the bridge. That is the bridge. The intimacy with yourself is the bridge to. To, to, the to, now. to now it's the bridge to, to your partner in relationship, you know. But really, we didn't want to go into relationship just yet. No. You know, we're going to. We're going to do some shows and, and, and talking about sex and partnership and, and talk about relationship, monogamous, otherwise, mm -hmm. right? We're going we're gonna to go into all of that. Step by step, but, brick by brick. But everything begins with you, okay? For that, for any relationship to have integrity, you must bring the integrity to yourself. For any relationship to have intimacy, you must be intimate with yourself, right? For any relationship to be of that love, mm -hmm. you must be the love that you are. So it all begins with you.
beginning. It all begins with you. And really, in truth, it has already begun. It is already here. You simply have to arrive to it. And you arrive to it in that allowing. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's not like Rebecca said. It's not information. It's mm -hmm. feeling. Naked bliss. Mm -hmm. May there be nothing between me and myself mm -hmm. as God. Mm -hmm. May there be nothing between me and myself as God. Naked bliss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we love you all. Uh, we're actually not going to be in studio next week. It's mm -hmm. Christmas Eve next week. So we'll be running an archive show. Um, we're not sure which one. We'll pick something yummy for you. Yeah. Um, and But we'll be back for New Year's Eve, baby. Yes. Yeah. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay. New Year's Eve. Tempting more. Oh, mm. Tempting more. <laughs> That's the title of New Year's Eve show. So you know where we're going with that. Yes. <laughs> tempting in a new mm. year. A new year. The new in you year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The more, the more, the more. So, you know, please, please reach out to us. Uh, if you haven't joined our Facebook group already, please do. It's called Shameless Feminine Speaks. Mm. Um, you, you can reach both of us there. Mm -hmm. um, you can engage in the conversation live there. We're not always able to engage in the chat room, as you can see. Um, but we always go back and, and address your comments and your questions. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we definitely. love it. We yeah. love hearing from you. And you can reach out to us directly. Uh, we both work with people privately in individual sessions over the phone. You don't even have to be in California. Um, or the United States. Or the United States. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe not even planet Earth in this day and age, you know. <laughs> so, um, you, Tatiana, where can people reach you? Uh, you can reach me on Tatiana Ray, R-A-E. I think it's above my head here. Uh, yes, I think com. so. Hopefully. And um, I'll give you my office number. So, it's 714 615 one eight one three mm -hmm. and you can find her on uh, Instagram yes Instagram one eight hundred rent a goddess <laughs> <laughs> and at the Delphine experience the, the Delphine, Delphine experience. experience please check her out there she has some beautiful poetry that she shares and actually one that I was hoping you could read tonight but uh, we're almost out of time here so go check out her Instagram she wrote a gorgeous gorgeous poem that speaks to tonight so beautifully Thanks. and yet you know what I think we'll read it for New Year's because yeah. it also speaks to the tempting yeah. more yeah tune in for New oh, Year's oh yeah That's tune in we'll for do. New Year's so um, yeah and you can find me at RebeccaHaywood.com and on social media as at Shaman Sister and please uh, go to my website and check out uh, my upcoming events I've got one coming up in Oakland, California. A play uh, shop. Yeah, a play shop for women. And it's titled Calling Your Wild Child Home. Yeah. So we're really going to like call out our little girl mm. and play with her. Let her play. Give her permission to play. Uh, and really, uh, you know, let her out of the closet. <laughs> 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 so there's going to be a medicinal movement, a cacao ceremony sacred sharing integrative mirror work it's going to be so much fun mm -hmm. my little girl can't wait to play with your little girl so please check it out and um, hit me up if you have any questions i'm always here for you okay so we will see you not next week but the next week, the next week. tuesday 7 p.m right here on la talk radio for that feminine re-evolution mm -hmm. we love you all we good night love you. You're listening to Shameless Feminine Speaks with your host, modern-day shaman and sister to all, Rebecca Hayes.